Today, we're going to be taking a look at two ways to get access to free wireframe designs for your Gutenberg websites. But you may be asking, well, why would I want to use wireframes anyway? Well, they're a great way of speeding up the design process without all those different elements like the text, the images, colors, and so on that get in the way of the overall design. Perfect if you're looking to quickly prototype something or you want to design something very quickly to give a client an idea of how the layout may look for key pages in a site. So free is always good. So let's take a look at the tools we're going to be using to get access to those right now. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Stackable. Now, Stackable comes in two different flavors, the free version and the pro version. Now, the free version gives you access to a collection of wireframes. The second is Cadence Blocks. Now, Cadence Blocks, again, comes in a free version and a paid for version, but this is in the free version. The only thing you need to do is pop in your email address so you get access to those. However, that's all you really need to do, and you do get access to some great designs. So I've already installed both of those plugins onto my site, and I'm going to just show you the wireframes that are included, show you how they work, some of the options you have, and then you can go ahead and try them out for yourself. So once you've installed these two different block plugins, you get access to do two different design libraries. The first one in this example is the stackable design library, and second up is the design library for Cadence. You can install both side by side, and they both work perfectly fine without any kind of problems that I've come across, or you can just download and install the one you prefer. So let's start off by taking a look at the stackable options. If we click on the design library, this will insert the placeholder, and you can see now we can open the design library. If we open that up, we've got block designs, UI designs that we've seen previously. So the block designs are basically, you've got a pile of pre-designed sort of headers, hero sections, footers, different content types, a very different selection based upon whether you have the free version or the pro version installed. UI kits kind of breaks things down then into things like, you can see you've got call to actions, those kinds of things. However, the wireframes, which is what we want to take a look at, is a new release inside the free and pro version. You can see we've got blog posts, and again, things are broken down on the left-hand side to categorize. So if we're looking specifically for a hero section, we can click on that, and then we get some starter hero sections. And as you can see, like I said with the wireframe, it is literally just that. There's no colors involved. There's just placeholders for text, for buttons, for different images. You can replace these. You can use those as a starting point, and you can then quickly flesh out the design ideas that you want. So for example, let's say we like the look of this particular one, the Hero 3, we can click to insert that in, and you can see that now drops that inside there, and we get full access to all of the controls we have inside this particular wireframe, and also alongside the stackable plugin itself. So now on the left-hand side, you can see we can control things like the block element, we can control the style, we have advanced options inside you. Some really powerful options are available as part of stackable. So if you don't want to use a page builder, you want to use something like this that gives you a lot of page builder-like functions, but is much faster when it comes to working with Gutenberg, Stackable is an option that I've covered in the past. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you can see we can adjust things like the content width, we can fit all columns to the content, we can come into the block section, and we can adjust the background if we want to. So now we can open this up, and we can adjust putting gradients, colors, using the global colors that are part of our design. And you can see we can select any of those global colors, immediately apply those to the element that we have selected, background in this example, or we can completely disable it so there's nothing in the background whatsoever. You can drop images in the background. You can do all the things you'd expect from a typical kind of page builder. Right the way through to some of the styling options, to the advanced options, even down to conditional display options. Now, this might be something that's available only in the Pro version. I'm not sure if I've got Pro installed in here, but it's worth taking a look at anyway. So you can see if we want to change the image, we can select that particular placeholder, go and grab an image that we want to use. Let's just take this one, for example select it, drop it in there, and boom, we've now got an image inserted inside there. Want to change the text? Simply click inside, change the text. You can even use dynamic text and dynamic content if you are using the pro version of Stackable. So this opens up even more options with your designs. This will be great if you start to work with the sort of full site editing that is coming to WordPress very, very soon. It's in beta kind of thing and open at the moment, so it's still not fully fleshed out, but this is something that opens up the ability to use these kind of wireframes as a starting point, pull in dynamic data, save those as a template file, and you speed up the process, very akin to what you kind of used to do it in a tool like Elementor. So that's really, really quick look at what Stackable gives you. Let's just remove this, 
And now let's take a look at the options that we have inside Cadence Blocks. So we're going to open up the design library again, this time the Cadence design library. And again, you can see things are laid out in a very similar fashion. We've got these start, uh, these sections that give us various different categories, headers, heroes, those kinds of things. You start the packs, which are basically groups of designs that follow a design aesthetic for a particular type of website. And finally, we have the wireframe options. Like I say, for this, you do need to pop in your email address. So you are giving that information over but I think it's worth it for what you're kind of getting you as a good quick starting point. And again, you can see things are broken down now into the various component categories. So content, promotional cards, those kinds of things. Let's take a look at card, for example. And this allows you to see we've got these various different component elements. So let's just choose something like this one. We'll select to insert that. And again, you see that now drops that into our design and we can now go ahead, show more settings and start to control the overall look and feel of this using Cadence blocks this type instead of stackable. So if you are more comfortable with Cadence, then this is the one that I would recommend taking a look at. And you can see we have lots of different options and everything is click, it'll apply those changes. Obviously, you're still stuck with the Gutenberg limitations, you know, where things on the back end and the front end don't necessarily look the same, which is just kind of one of those annoying limitations that we have. But let's set this to something like wide width so that already looks a bit better. And if you want to, like I say, you've got tons of options inside you, including margin, paddings, background settings again. So if you want to apply a background color, and again, you can reference those global colors. So again, we can just choose this dark blue background, for example, or this reddish background, or orange, whatever colors you kind of set as global colors. So it's very, very quick to go ahead and utilize the Gutenberg layout tools, the cadence blocks or stackable blocks tools, and use these wireframes to very quickly prototype an overall design. And that's really what I wanted to cover. Not going into huge amounts of detail, but just showing you these great options that you can take a look at for yourself without spending any money to get started quickly prototyping designs for you or your clients' websites. As always, all of the applicable links are down in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.